Hey guys, that's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be taking a quick look at how you can create water inside of Unreal Engine 4. So taking a quick look at this rather realistic pool of water you're going to be able to see what we're going to be creating in today's episode. So without further, uh, without further ado let's go ahead and uh, dive in, no puns intended. Anyway, so let's take a quick look at this pool of water that I've got here so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing. So I've got this nice big space here and I've got the water material on top of it and you can see that looks quite good. Now for today we're going to be using a pre-made material which comes with the starter content. We're not going to be showing you how to create your own water material but it works just as good. Anyway if you do have your own stuff you can use that instead doesn't matter it's just a, a mesh and we just chuck any kind of water material on there. Can just be a flat blue, can be all animated and sexy like this one it's entirely up to you. Anyway so when the player does dive into this pool you can see he starts to float around he's got like this slippery um, water physics going on so when you jump in you just sort of float you don't just sink straight away um, you know, all that good watery physics stuff. And lastly, you've got the uh, post-processing volume. So when I'm inside of here, you can see I've got a bit of depth of field. You can see it's got this blue tinge to it. And then you've got like this little um, this little red and blue offset thing going on. So this is pretty much what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all the little elements that I've got for this pond. So what I'm deleting right now is a mesh a post-processing volume, and then lastly, a, um, a water physics volume. So if you haven't got a space already for uh, your water, just make one, whether that's going to be terrain or simple just uh, space inside of your BSP, just go ahead and create it. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to make the, uh, we're going to put the water surface on there. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and get a mesh. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to in my content browser I'm just gonna find some kind of mesh uh, anything will do just type in cube mesh you should have that so here we go uh, cube mesh let's just drag this in here uh, it can, it's best to do it with a flat plane but I want it 3d like this um, so it's two-sided you can just do that on uh, you know your material but this is gonna work best for me now and we're just gonna stretch this out to the entire surface of the uh, the pond, the pool of water that we have here. Uh, try not to make it too big because you don't want it to be sticking through other stuff that you don't want. Just going to drag this up here, drag it up that way a bit, and then just move it along like you do with every other uh, object, you know, just use the transformation tools. Then I'm going to bring it up lastly, give it a good old little stretch just to make sure it covers the whole thing. And that should be just about it for this. And I'm also going to make sure it's nice and thin as well. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. And now let's apply a material to it. So find a water material. You've got plenty of those. If you go to your content browser and just type in water, you should be able to find something. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and use the M underscore lake water underscore zero one. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Now, if I go ahead and press play and jump in, the box has collision. So we need to turn the collision off so we can make it more watery. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to find the collision properties. So let's instead of block all, we're going to set it to no collision under collision and then collision presets. Now if I go ahead and press play and I jump in, I'm going to fall straight through there and you can see water on both sides just like this. That's perfect. All right. So the next thing is going to be the volumes. We've got two of those we need to use. Uh, the first one's going to be the water physics volume and the second one, it's going to be the post processing volume. So to create those, just go over to the volumes tab up here, go to volumes, and then we're going to go for physics volume and we're just going to drag this in. And once again, you're going to try and stretch this out to the whole size of the pond. Uh, and once again, do not overstretch it, otherwise it's just going to mess the player up. If you have maybe other bits you don't want it to affect. Um, but just make sure it does cover the pond. That's the most important bit. Just stretch it out all the different ways you need it to, and then just dump it in. So with the physics volume, we need to change this to a water physics volume. So the way to do this is to simply uh, select water physics. It should be up at the top here somewhere. 
over here character movement and then water volume and then you can play around with stuff like uh, fluid friction and terminal velocity don't worry about that for now just leave that at default and it should work uh, just great for you so if I go ahead and press play now and if I jump in this pond you should see it sort of slows down it slows down the player and you begin to sink and all that good stuff um, the reason why it's not working for all of it you see I just dropped down is because I haven't stretched down to the whole bottom of the pond so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm just gonna go ahead and use the scale tool and then just gonna drink bring that down a bit just like that and now it should be perfectly fine press play jump into the pool of water and there we go brilliant working just like just like it should do anyway so that's the water physics done next thing and probably the most important thing uh, aesthetically is going to be the post processing volume so to do that we're going to go ahead and use a post processing volume if you've watched my previous tutorial on post processing I'm going to link uh, leave the link somewhere uh, on the screen here for you guys if you want to watch that uh, we're going to be using post processing to get that blue effect the depth of field and all of that good stuff so let's just go ahead and stretch it out once again make sure you only stretch it out to the pool of water try and match it up with the water volume so it only applies when you're actually inside of the water underneath not over and uh, the rest of the important stuff so let's check this out uh, once again it's too short I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it up a bit and then just uh, sorry scale it up a bit and then take it down just like that so with the collision uh, with the post processing volume selected I'm gonna go ahead and adjust some of the settings so First things first, I'm going to use a little bit of color grading, I think. Uh, no, not color grading, scene color. And I'm going to select that. And we're going to change this to a blue. Uh, you can make it red, green, you can make it a brown if you want it to be like dirty water. But for me, I'm just going to use this dark blue sort of color here. And that's going to work pretty much just how I want it to. And I'm also going to use this thing called fringe intensity. It's the it's a little bit of offset that we have here for like the red and the blues uh, and it sort of gives us this un underwater look I'm going to turn up the saturation make it a little bit more obvious um, but you can sort of see what I'm doing here now so let's go ahead and close that and I'm also going to use something uh, called a film I'm going to turn that on that on going to give it a little bit more blue I'm going to try and make that a dark blue if I can there we go just sort of get the right color you're looking for um there is something i'm looking for but i can't remember what it's called um it's a way of getting a vignette uh i'm going to turn on a little bit of motion blur when i'm under here as well just turn that on when you move through it uh you know it should be a little bit blurry depth of field that's quite important uh i'm going to turn on a bit of bokeh depth of field and then just play around with the settings like i show you in the video um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over. Just play around with the post-processing settings like I show you in the video. I'm going to leave this uh, link in the description and I'm also going to leave it on the screen somewhere. Anyway, when I go ahead and jump in this water now, you can see it's blue, it's got the offset, and it looks very watery. Anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Feel free to experiment with it and uh, see what you can do. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.